As the death toll mounts in Samoa from the quake and the tsunamis that followed, the Samoan community in Hawaii is worried about loved ones there. And Western Samoa's governor, American Samoa's governor, is here in Hawaii monitoring developments. KITV's Kiyoki Kura is live with the latest. Well, Pamela, the death toll is staggering, with officials estimating more than 100 people could be dead in Samoa. <laughs> At the American Samoa office in Kalihi, the phones rang constantly Hello. as people with ties to Samoa kept calling, looking for information on the tsunamis. There were some deaths reported, but we haven't confirmed the names and where they're from. Hello. And staffers heard from scared relatives who yes. couldn't get through to their families in the tsunami zones. Wanting to know how they can get over their families. And the only information we can give them is the fact that the landlines are down and there are some luck with cellular phones and to be patient and be calm. Western Samoa Governor Togiola Tulafono in Honolulu on business spent time on the phone today talking to federal emergency management officials and others. He says major roads and bridges are out there. And it's making relief and uh, uh, assistance very, very difficult in a very populous area of the, uh, uh, of the main island. He says the western tip of western Samoa's capital island is inaccessible because the roadway is out and that district suffered severe damage with casualties. I don't feel good at all being away at a time of disaster because uh, this is a time we as families need to be together, even if there's little you can do. Tulafono says the first tsunami struck less than 10 minutes after the earthquake. By the time they got the first warning, the first waves have hit already. So this is one of those situations, no matter what you do, it would have been impossible to, to help a lot of people. And that is the American Samoa governor, not the Western Samoa governor. Now, the governor is heading home to Samoa tonight on a Coast Guard relief flight. Kyoki Kerr, KITV4 Island Television News.